This is the majestic Maya. She is a seven-year-old long-haired German Shepherd, and she is in need of a good cleaning today. I have been grooming Maya ever since she was a puppy. Here she is at her very first grooming appointment. I get her into the bath, and we are going to bathe her today in our de-shedding shampoo and our dirty dog shampoo. Maya lives on property, and it's been a while since her last grooming appointment, so she is quite dirty and we need to make sure we can get her squeaky clean. The cleaner her coat is, the quicker she will dry, and the more of her dead undercoat I will be able to release. Stay tuned because you do not want to miss this before and after transformation. After she has been rinsed from her shampoo, I fully condition her body. She has some matting and you will see later on that she really doesn't like brushing. So I'm going to do the best I can to remove the matting in the bathtub and with the blow dryer so that she does not have to endure much brushing. I also used my Savior Fur Nozzle to remove and loosen as much undercoat as I can. After her bath, she shakes herself dry. And then I towel dry her before the blow dry. German Shepherds were bred for their intelligence and fierce loyalty. They were used in both World War I and World War II as war dogs. They also have made great police dogs. Anyone who owns a German Shepherd, you will know what I mean when I say, when I got my German Shepherd, she already came trained. If you are looking for a loyal dog that is easy to train and will protect you at all cost, the German Shepherd might just be for you, as long as you can tolerate all of their hair. Maya is a very well-behaved dog for grooming, but when it comes to blow-drying her feet, she turns into a professional tap dancer. Halfway through the dry, I spray her down with the Stuff for Dogs, which is a conditioning treatment, and will help to loosen up her undercoat and make brushing easier. As you can see, Maya is losing a lot of hair and the end result is so satisfying. I blow dry her ears and head by using my small, less powerful dryer. She is finely dry and feeling spectacular. Now we move on to the next step of the grooming process. Maya does not tolerate any type of pulling on her fur, so I'm using my 10 blade to shave out her matting because I don't want to agitate her. The most common places for matting on dogs like these is in their back end, under their armpits, and behind their ears. You can see the fear in her eyes because she knows what's next. Maya absolutely hates brushing, and she's not afraid to tell me off if she doesn't like it. For my safety, I put her in a muzzle and attach her to a groomer's helper because she will bite if given the opportunity. She doesn't want to bite me, but she really does not like the brush at all. I made sure to shave out all of the matting so that this wouldn't hurt, so Maya is just being a little bit over dramatic. After the brush, I switch to my metal comb and then I clip her nails. After that, I shave out her paw pads using my 30 blade. And then after that, I use my scissors and I tidy up her Grinch feet. This is one of my most favorite parts about the groom. It makes the dogs look so neat and tidy when it's finished. I use a combination of my curved shears and my chunkers to tidy up her body. The owners like her to look as natural as possible, so I only do a slight tidy so she's not bringing in as much dirt and debris from the outdoors. And this beautiful girl is all finished. She is looking and feeling amazing. She gets very excited for Mellow Bear's CBD beef liver treats at the end of her groom. If you're interested in CBD treats, the link is in my description for their website. Thank you for watching. For more adorable dog content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.